Informatica Data Quality Address Validation Transformation by Bart Honhoff. This video will show uh, a demonstration of the address validation transformation and will discuss the prerequisites. One of the prerequisites is of course Informatica 9 installed and you need to have installed a data integration server, a content management service and a model repository service. Next, then, uh, you need to have for Address Doctor a valid Address Doctor license, reference data who are uh, at the right location, and some addresses, either structured or unstructured. Here's the administration console of Informatica 9. As you can see, you need to have a data integration service installed, and it should be like this. Processes who have been there as well. Content management services, which should have the, the associated services of the uh, data integration service and the uh, management repository service, as well as processes available who are related to this one. This is the default address doctor license, which does not work. So you have to have a valid license who is applicable for uh, your address validation and the reference data location. Here you can see the location of all the uh, reference data. In this case, these are all links to uh, the valid address uh, data. And you can see it ends all with MD, which are the reference data from uh, address doctor. When you replace the license, you have to make sure that the license you are replaced uh, after you replace the license with a valid license, that you restart the uh, uh, content management services as well as the data integration services. You also have to make sure that uh, from the countries at least one of these fields has something like all or a particular country mentioned. That's also applicable for geocoding and the suggestion list and the address code countries. Don't forget to recycle the data integration service after you have entered the valid license in the content management system. Before you can start working with the AV transformation, you need to have at least a source of data which contains addresses. This is a structured uh, file of addresses, and you can see how they look like. If I run it, uh, you'll see that these addresses are available. Company, street, house number, postal code, locality, country. You might also see that this one uh, in UK, for the UK has a comma in between. You can steer it later um, in the address validation uh, with a comma. We'll come to that later. If you want to use an AV transformation, I will show how you can set it up. You move the source. You can see I can run it. There it is. And I add an address validation. Current issue with the address validator is that you have, you can't just simple drag and drop them to uh, the AV trans uh, validator. So you first have to create the fields in a template. And we go to the template of the address validator. 
in this case we go to the basic information there we have discrete fields which means the organization we do have a street we do have a locality we do have a postal code and we have the country save the information and that's the input and I want to have some output as well let's go to some outputs and in this case we just select organization complete main reason because you can have descriptors you can have which means something like company or something else street complete with number you can have also street without number and you can have other information as well but uh, for example the delivery address lines but that belongs to the unstructured data a locality in this case we also have locality too and we go to provinces and we add the country information country and of course we want to see the results okay so now I have input fields and I have output fields so first let's go to the input fields the organization is there the street is there the house number is not there but that's something we will add later so you can see how it works postal code country and locality as you see I forgot something and I need to add it later which is the house number and house number of course is really important as well so we go to the template go to the basic and we add the discrete house number street number there it is as you can see here if you add uh, fields later it will go on the bottom line so if you can't find them back it's related because of this locality and the house number these are the fields I want to use to validate the address and let's start to see if I run it in or address validation you see the results are coming back street complete with number and you can see it's using the format of this particular country and you also can see the results mailability score of four five it's a standard address and the L stands for large volume receiver and these are all corrected addresses this concludes the short demonstration however I want to show you also uh, for the address validator how you can change make sure that the details like uh, in this case the comma is taken uh, separated uh, from two fields uh, street 1 and street 2 and that's done by going into the address validator uh, address from transformation advanced and set the format delimiter to comma here it is offline separator here it is semicolon which is default and I set it to comma if I run it now you will see that the results for England are improved it's considered your maiden had complete two street complete with number and Berkshire etc this concludes the demonstration of the address from uh, transformation I can assume I assume that you are able to find out how the rest is working uh, the output files because these are all the outputs so you can get an output file as well so to start with the AV transformation you have to have IDQ 9 and related services running 
you need to have pilot licenses for address doctor, you need to have reference data, and of course you need to have addresses. Thank you for watching this video, and we wish you, if you have some input, please send it to us. We'd like to hear from you. Okay, thank you. Bye.